Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 161. I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also make sure to check out Code Karate and the Code Karate recently released ebook. Today we're going to be going over the entity views, the entity view modes module. And this is going to be a really simple and quick video today because it's there's not a lot to it, but it is very useful in certain si situations. Essentially, it lets you allow additional view or build modes for your entities. And so this could be a situation where you need to display specific entities, maybe it's specific types of content in multiple ways. And we'll go ahead and show you kind of how that works and maybe give you a few ideas of how you can use it, but there's uh, a lot of different ways in which you may need this. For your typical use case, you probably don't need it too often, but there are certain situations where it's handy to have a couple extra build modes for your content types or for different types of entities. First step is to download the module, of course, and then make sure you have it on. As you can see, I already have it enabled here. So you can click Configure from the Modules page, or you can go to Configuration system entity view modes to get to the entity view modes configuration page and you'll see here it has listed all of the different entities on your Drupal site so there's comment, fieldable panel pane, MailChimp signup, node and this is the most common one that you are all aware of, taxonomy term, user so any type of entity that you have on your site you can add different view modes for so we'll go ahead and look at adding a, a new node view mode. Before we do, we'll go to a content type manage display page for the article content type. And you can see there's a default and teaser sub tabs here for different view modes. You can also turn other ones on such as a search index, search results. So there are other ones that come out of the box that you can use and turn on but there may be times where you want to add new uh, view modes here so you can go ahead and do that by going back to the entity view mode clicking add new view mode you can select first give it a name we'll just go ahead and say um, we'll call this the simple view mode Maybe you have you want to have a slim down. It's not a teaser. Maybe it has a little more information than a teaser, but it isn't quite the full content display. And this is more useful for complex content types or complex entities with multiple fields where you may want to have different ways to display the, diff the pieces of content or the entity where you may have a teaser, you may have a full content, you may have something in between or a different type of slightly different layout or structure to the fields. Here you can check if you want to use custom display settings, we'll leave that checked. You can specify which content types here you want to have it enabled for. So we'll just use article for now. We will click save and now it will show up in this list right here. So simple, it says it's in the database because it's been, we created it, it's not uh, stock that it did not come with Drupal. Custom settings, yes. You can edit, you can delete it. So if we go to our content type, we'll go to a basic page first just to show you that it's not here by default. However, you still can turn it on by checking this box and clicking save. If we go to the article content type, you'll notice that the simple view mode has been turned on. So you can see default, we have image, body, tags, teaser, Maybe we want just the image and maybe simple is going to contain the image and the body. So now you have three different view modes here for your article content type. Now you may not necessarily see how this can be useful but you can use view modes or the build modes in a bunch of different ways. For instance, in views. So we're going to go ahead and create a new view quick of our articles. So we'll create one called test article list. We'll show content of type article. 
and we'll just use this page that it defaults to. So unformat a list of teasers. We don't need links, no comments, and we will click continue and edit. So let's go ahead and click save and take a look at the page of teasers first. Here it just shows the image. So in this case the teaser only shows the actual image field. If we edit the view we can of course change this to the full content or our simple view mode that we just created. So let's go ahead and use the simple view mode and if we click save and now you see it shows the image and the body if we went to the full content it would show the image the body and then any links that were with that content so as you can see it's really simple it allows you to add additional flexibility to your various entities keep in mind it's not just for content you can use it for any entity in your system Perhaps you want different displays for your user accounts, depending on uh, how, how you want them to be laid out or shown on different areas of your site. Maybe you want blocks that show different users on your site in a different way. So there's a whole bunch of things you can do with it. It's flexible. It integrates in with views easily, as you saw. You could, of course, have done the same thing just using fields with views, but sometimes it's nice to be able to pre-configure specific displays and use it in that way. So go ahead and give the entity view modes uh, a look if you need it. It also says it ensures consistency, consistency for template suggestions so it's easy to use uh, different templates to change how those view modes look. So go ahead and give it a try and let me know what you think. We'll see you next time.